So I welcome Dr. Uh, Suresh Damodaran from Coimbatore to chair this session. So Dr. Suresh Damodaran is a consultant in diabetes endocrinology at uh, Sri Ramakrishna Hospital in Coimbatore. He's an honorary consultant in Derryford Hospital. He was an honorary, oh, he's an honorary consultant in Derryford Hospital in Plymouth. Plymouth and uh, he's the uh, immediate past vice president of the Endocrine Society of India. He's currently appointed as a member of editorial board for the British Journal of Diabetes. Welcome Dr. Suresh Damodaran and he'll be speaking on treat early to treat better and upstream approach with oral semaglutide. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, in view of time uh, and uh, I'm standing between you and lunch and uh, I'm like a semaglutide in front of you. Uh, semaglutide is a drug which is a GLP-1 and it acts in the satiety center of the brain to control yourself. I would request you to control next 10 minutes or so uh, to know about this fascinating molecule and uh, being a GLP-1 and an innovative molecule in terms of the oral tablets, it made the leaps and bounds in terms of clinical data and also uh, the clinical experience what we've been using in one or two years is just amazing. So. Uh, if I, uh, this is a, a corporate talk, um, uh, as you can see, um, uh, the, the sponsors are known orders, but uh, the people of type 2 and uh, obesity has been increasing uh, and the mortality has been really going up, most, more almost like a seven times mortality uh, in terms of uh, micro and macrovascular complications of diabetes. And then we know about the thin fat theory uh, that has been uh, developed and also uh, how we compare to the Caucasian population that being thin, uh, how much risk we are in, in terms of cardiovascular disease. So we need to understand um, the mechanism. You must have heard in multiple talks, but the, the baseline is there's quite a lot of uh, challenges. It's not one or two. So even if you go for the violence or un income in inequality, sleep disorders, all will uh, contribute one way or other. And if you look at the medication-induced weight gain, in terms of the neuropathy as well, so it debilitates people and then people make not to walk and small, small things like that, that will contribute to uh, major things um, uh, in terms of uh, micro and macrovascular complications. So when you lose weight, the diabetes improves. There is no brainer, but we need evidence for everything and there is evidence and I think it is just clearly shows that the weight loss is uh, helpful and weight loss. How how does it help? As I mentioned, uh, the the satiety center works, and then there there is a uh, balance between the calorie loss and calorie uh, intake. So the satiety hormones play, and you know in the endocrine world, leptin and ghrelin and all the gut hormones uh, or the main uh, talk of the this thing. And then you're going to see next four or five years or down the line, all the molecules are all gut hormone based. So gut hormones are the areas to watch and what is going to come of Vigovi or you take about the anti ghrelin anti-serum or quite a lot of drugs are going to be gut-based hormones. So maintaining weight loss, it plays a huge role. Uh, but what is the treatment option available? We know about the pharmacotherapy, lifestyle behaviors, a lot of AI things have come in. We got an excellent inauguration today, how it is going to be infiltrated to the uh, society, but uh, lifestyle and behavioral with technology help, it has gone up leaps and bounds. And pharmacotherapy, we got few drugs, but that all, an altroxone, bupropion, and uh, uh, few ADA approved drugs, uh, sorry, FDA approved drugs are not available in India. It's available in black market, but it has got no um, uh, uh, approval from Indian uh, 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 DCGI. So weight loss surgery, it has been there for a while and quite a lot of uh, premier centers and in Coimbatore we got uh, Gem Hospital which is one of the premier centers for weight loss and I'm one of the advisors for them but uh, there is quite a lot of data has been produced by that center uh, and throughout India as um, uh, our chief guest was saying we're doing an enormous job in terms of surgery and cardiovascular, do the lifestyle modification, they come back and five years uh, down the line they are not, uh, this thing will back to samosas and just changing the remotes and the back to square one. So if you uh, do with the bariatric procedure and again the same thing, if you don't do the basics right, you will end up in trouble. So you can do hi-fi surgery of uh, uh, one uh, bypass surgery of uh, stomach and it has got an excellent result. There is no question about it, but the recurrence is also bad when you don't do the things right. And there is the element of uh, the uh, trials of with uh, GLP-1 is given post bariatrics are all happening, but uh, still there are a lot of challenges with surgery as well. And of course, this, the complications of surgery and the challenges of surgery intra and post.
post-op. So pharmacotherapy wise, it's um, uh, the, when compared to the control, it has got an excellent result. So uh, the effect of the diabetic drugs available, the GLP-1s, as I said, and the SGLT-2, you might have heard um, SGLT-2 uh, being talked in almost all the conferences for cardiac, nephrology, cardiac failure, uh, weight loss, uh, diabetes control, everything is uh, one drug of HGLT-2. So, but it has got its own challenges. I'll come back to that very quickly. So insulin and other drugs have got weight gain potential. TZD is a very, very good drugs, but it's got a weight gain potential. Central action of the GLP-1, as I mentioned, there's two things, form C and CART1 with the GLP-1 and also the inhibition with the neuropeptide Y and AGRP. So it all works in the satiety center in the hypothalamus and then the food is controlled and it just says to the brain, control, Suresh Damodaran talk is going another five minutes. So that kind of thing is uh, will be done by... Uh, 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 GLP-1, but what happens to you, I don't want to go over basic of SGLT-2, we might have heard in 10,000 lectures with multiple pharma companies, but there is a, a challenge between calorie loss and compensatory food intake, so what, what happens is the SGLT-2 at one stage, you might have, uh, with your own experience, you would have seen maximum of 4 to 5 kilos weight loss. Not because that I'm in a GLP-1 talk, I'm just uh, 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 saying about uh, uh, SGLT-2, but practically it is about 4 to 5 kilograms. Agree? So um, that is the uh, this thing. On one or two cases, you might have more weight loss. But the reason for that is when you have a calorie loss in the urine, there is a stimulation uh, and the way that it elicits an adaptive in increasing in energy so that you have a compensatory uh, uh, calorie intake. You understand so when you have a calorie loss there will be some sort of adjustment will make to uh, uh, this thing the calorie intake will be more so the four kilo weight loss is the standard one four to five kilos even if you look at the data of all the trials it is about four to five so revisiting upstream or downstream that is my key thing of the talk so what is that upstream and downstream so the downstream one is the glucocentric approach so reducing the sugar alone but not considering the other things so you're not going to get buy one get five free so you're going to get a weight loss lipid control blood pressure control and then arthritis improvement you're not going to get all that but you just focus on blood sugar control get it right so but we are going to be much more proactive when the weight loss happens, OSA improved, uh, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, hepatitis, which is the major thing for a woman in this country and also throughout the world with obesity growing and the NASH has become more than an alcoholic thing in few countries. So osteoarthritis, dyslipidemia and other things uh, also improves uh, uh, when you do uh, uh, an approach where there is a diabetes control along with weight loss. So importance of the weight loss, incidence control and remission. So if you look at the weight loss prevention in quite a lot of uh, trials, including DPP tri uh, P trial of 2019 publication. So risk of type two falls significantly with reduction of body weight and weight loss and diabetes, uh, even with the modest weight loss, the glycemic parameters improves in a big way. And um, the, the, this includes the fasting postprandial along with the A1C control. So uh, weight loss, almost 46% uh, of the patient's intervention group uh, with the type 2 remission. So those are the days are gone. We're controlling diabetes alone is gone. Now it comes to remission of diabetes through A and technology, through drugs. And one of these drugs is semaglutide. So when you reduce the weight and achieve the holistically what you want to achieve and you try to do a remission of diabetes and which is not been spoken 10 years ago when metformin and sulfonylureas are the drugs that is being used um, but weight loss uh, impact. This is the look ahead uh, one year data. It shows clearly all the parameters improve. So it's, uh, blood pressure, triglyceride, HDL. So diabetic dyslipidemia improves. The overall uh, control of the uh, cardiovascular risk factors improve. The markers improve. And only with the 5% of body weight, you got a huge benefit. And that is, uh, you can't get with a reduction with uh, one targeting a blood pressure with the ACE inhibitor and a, a statin with a uh, for a cholesterol control. We can't get all, but the weight loss can do a wonders actually. So uh, what is the, uh, come to the main uh, talk next two minutes or so about the Pioneer clinical trial. That is the semaglutide trial and uh, no drug has come out um, uh, when, when uh, uh, dulaglutide 
and other drugs came in but uh, this drug has come out with so much data oral sod a1c reduction versus range of competitors in the pioneer program it has been compared with all the drugs available in the market so monotherapy versus empa citagliptin versus liraglutide and with the insulin all been compared and you you know what i think almost 1.5% of a1c reduction you take any dpp4 or sgld2 it's 0.7% reduction so here you got 1.5 almost double of it the reason being is the weight loss so um change in baseline for a1c um almost 2.6% so that is also a really good number uh, when it's a treatment naive patients you get almost 2.6% so you get a 9% a1c you get it to 7.5 so uh, it shows the weight loss almost like 5 kilos as a standard but there are a lot of other weight losses and personal experiences of variable um, uh, i might be able to show one of the data of my patients so significant reduction with empagliflozin um, that almost like weight loss of uh, 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 more than 70% so waist circumference you, doctor you're talking about weight loss but whether it's useful for asians because the asians or anybody the waist circumference are very very important if you look at the data you really need 80 cm for a female and more than uh, not more than 90 cm for a male if you don't want to be obese or overweight but that uh, just put a inch tape in your uh, front of your belly and uh, you can just measure yourself you don't need to go for a bmi calculator so for 45% reduction in waist circumference when compared to empagliflozin that tells you it is not the lean uh, mass only the, uh, the, the visceral fat also goes off so the quality of weight loss it's very very important when you lose weight and i've shown you data to show there are a lot of people after the diet and exercise they come back again in few years they're not following it and when you do lose weight this is going to be a huge challenge when uh, drugs like vigovi and uh, uh, new uh, lily drugs are going to come in where there is a 15% weight loss what happens when you lose 15% of your body weight then there is huge uh, structural changes in the body and that will be a challenge and we have to bring in the concept which i'm trying to do uh, like building the muscle so that is a different to- topic altogether but the quality of weight loss with semaglutide is very very important so the body weight and body composition so the fat uh reduction is uh, really uh, significant so look at the associations all are going with uh, even the latest ones they avoid and metformin which you can't do but uh, uh, the, 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 there is a significant role of uh, glp ones and sglt2 especially uh, with the glp ones in terms of weight loss along with uh, uh, other uh, contributory uh, uh, reductions Uh, so this is a very quick uh, case scenario i got 1 minute or so so uh, confirmatory test shows 8.1% uh, a1c reduction uh, pavan is from hyderabad so y- you can say metformin plus sulfonylurea he is on and uh, he's got di- diabetic dyslipidemia and uh, he, he, yeah okay okay um so the the uh, the progression of uh, type 2 uh to prevent the complications so very very important and in 3 years uh, he's got some lifestyle changes but i think he's got the changes with atherosclerosis and that is a huge challenge so what happens is his a1c goes up and then his weight look at the weight 88 to 91 with the sulfonylurea on the board and that is the biggest challenge so you seem to have the same glycemic control but the weight has gone up and that is going to be causing more atherosclerotic risk for him so the glp1 got introduced um, along with uh, statins and what happens next uh, this like bingo uh, a1c reduction happened and also the total cholesterol and the whole lot of things improved and uh, it, it is uh, uh, like a telugu moving ending with a nice uh, sort of climax so this is possible with this group of drugs and it is not possible previously so we can control the blood sugar but we can't prevent and we can't get buy one get five free so preventing complications and also managing the risk factors so with that i think uh, 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 upstream approach is the main way so in the last uh, uh 15 minutes or so i just covered that glp1 is a significant group of drugs that will control not only glucose centric approach and it's got an upstream it's got multiple cv risk factor improvement weight loss happens because of the weight loss the risk factors again improve therefore we need to select the group of drugs that will be beneficial for the fat patient thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity
Thank you, Dr. Suresh. Um, as you mentioned, we have seen the uh, benefits of GLP-1 analog, especially the oral semaglutide. We have, I echo your points, it's clinically a wonderful drug, good weight loss and good uh, glycemic control. So any doubts, any questions from the floor?